Hey guys, so this video is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna screenshot of me playing Pokemon Go and catching this Mega Venusaur. Uh, so I got back into it in July and I've been really liking it. I've been playing it a lot, almost every day, especially with all this uh, newly free time. So yeah, I'm just gonna go dive right into it. And I'm super excited to try out this Mega Evolved Charizard. Now, the thing that it sucks that it, it only gives us a four hour time news. But you know, whatever. It's up to, what, 3000 CP ish. Can't wait to see how it battles. But yeah, um, I, it was a free raid pass that I'm using, so. It doesn't really matter to me. Honestly, I like catching the legendaries because you. I feel you get more bang for your buck. And when you catch a Mega Evolution, I just I don't feel like I reap anything from it. Well, I, I of course I do get we get stuff, but I just feel like the um, potions and the rare candies. It's not enough. It's probably like half from what you get when you do a legendary raid battle. Alright, so it looks like it's a full lobby. Almost a full lobby. Now it's a full lobby. Cool. Should be a quick win. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments how you like the the Mega Evolutions. I feel they were a bit disappointing. They could have done better with it. I don't know. We'll see. This is my first time using one in battle. So we'll see how they play out. Alright. Let's use it. Mm hmm. Well, damn. You didn't even last that long. That was so underwhelming. I was expect expecting much, much more from Charizard as a Mega Evolved. Mm -hmm. See, Heatran is doing better and it's weaker CP wise. I don't know, to me I feel like Charizard was just too fragile. Also it sucks that you can't evolve your shadow Pokemon. I have a shadow Charizard as well. But it doesn't let you do it. Then again, if this Charizard was this fragile, I could I can't imagine how fragile the Shadow Charizard would be. Even though the attack would be amazing, but it'd be a freaking glass cannon on steroids. All right, so I have a lot of Venusaur, and I I suck at throwing, so I can't aim with this. See, I can't aim. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. I don't know. I'm not a good aimer with it, but I don't really care if I catch it or not. Either way, my, um, my, um, what do you call it? It's full, basically. I forgot the name. I want to say bag, but it's not really a bag. And I'm too, I'm too cheap to upgrade it. I'd rather just spend it on passes. And oh, oh yeah, speaking of that, I feel like they should increase the the Pokecoin limit to f uh, 100. 50 coins is just, it's too too little. They need to increase it to make it more rewarding. I know they they're, they're, this is an app that wants to make money out of it, and they are making money. I think the last, what was it, with a, a few weeks ago with the Groudon raids? 
during that week. The Gold Fest, they made around two million. Just those two days alone. That's just crazy. You have to give us something like come on, at least at least let us, you know, get seventy five Poke Coins or one hundred Poke Coins per day when taking over gyms. Oh well, so I missed this one. It doesn't matter. Thank you guys for watching and remember to subscribe.